Hey guys, so a lot of the questions I get on my videos are generally about how to make my TF2 look good, which is either through mods or my HUD or my config settings. So instead of telling everyone every time to go check my Steam group, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, so you can stop asking me. Sound good? Sound good. Let's do it. So before I really dig into this list, I'd like to say first that it's in no particular order, it's really just whatever I felt like was more useful to explain earlier. So yeah, whatever you feel like is the best mod, that's the best mod. There's no listing or anything, because I'm bad at making favorites. Also, a lot of Valve servers run SV Pure 1, which basically means all of your custom files except for your HUD files are going to be blocked. So if you're a pub stomper on Quick Play, this probably isn't the video for you. I'm, I'm sorry, man. So before I dig into mods, I'd like to talk about some of the in-game settings you can use to make your game look prettier. So, Matfong Zero. A lot of people surprisingly don't know about this. This removes all of the Fong from your characters in the game. Which, if you don't know what Fong is, it's basically that grayish shine on their backs and on the edges of them, which makes them a little more recognizable from far away. But if you turn it off, not only will you find a significant FPS boost, maybe not significant, but it's definitely FPS boosting, as well as it makes everything look a little more cartoony, and in my opinion, it looks better. So that's one of the settings that a lot of people might not know about that you might know about now. So have fun. Okay, so we can actually start jumping into the more interesting things. So HUD, a heads up display. It's all the information you see when you're in game and in your menu and your loadout. All of that is displayed there. So HUDs.tf is a great resource for finding tons of HUDs. Personally, I use a modified version of Toon HUD created by myself, which the downloads like always in the description of my videos. But this is not about me. This is about you. You go look at all the HUDs and you decide on one you like because it's all about choice. If you think, oh, well, there's always like all the good players use Ray's HUD. Okay, but that's because that's probably because they like it. So if you like it, then use it. But if you don't like it, go find something else. You can be you can go beat Banny. Who cares? So remember Matt Fong Zero? It also kind of breaks all Australians to be completely gold, and it turns a lot of props in MVM to be completely pitch black, like they've been sucked into a void. But fear not, someone's made a fix pack for it, which is like one of my favorite personal mods because it fixes all these issues. Australians no look like covered in cheese, and now black void props have actually come back into existence, so it's great. Go pick it up if you have Matt Fong Zero, otherwise you don't need it. Consistent kill icons. So what this does is basically turn all the kill icons in the kill feed in the top right to look more consistent with each other. Not only that, but it also brings new kill icons to things that previously didn't have them, as well as adding more detail to ones that needed it. Now surprisingly, this mod works on SV Pure 1. So if you go on Valve servers, you can use this still, and that's pretty cool. Texture Improvement Project Backpack Icons. What these do is basically make all the backpack icons for weapons to be specific, more consistent with each other. They all come from the same angle, they all look the same, and it's really pleasing to people with OCD. Just go pick up the texture improvement pack icons because they're really cool. Okay, here's the big thing everyone was looking for. Animation overhaul packs. So not only are these a lot more pleasing to the eye than the original view model animations, it also fixes a lot of the issues that the original ones had. So if you look at the ambassador, or pretty much any spy revolver, he used to put it right up in front of his face, but with an animation overhaul, he now puts it down and not in front of his eyelids, which is great, because I don't know why this spy would ever do this. But yeah, go pick up these packs, you can find them in the description, because I'm not gonna go in deep detail about how to Google Game Banana. That's stupid! I shouldn't have to explain this to you people! This one's sort of subjective, but Western Realistic Muzzle Flashes. I think these are really cool, it basically adds as the name implies, a western realistic muzzle flash to all of your guns. So when you shoot it, a puff of smoke's gonna come out and a little trail, which is really cool. So if you really like that authentic look for it, it's a great mod. But if, if you think it's gonna get in your face, I wouldn't really pick it up. Because you can get in your face sometimes and you'll notice it, but pretty much never has it ever gotten in my way of shooting or anything. And probably what's going to be the final thing on the list is Texture Improvement Project. Now, it's not frequently updated. I don't think it's been updated in a long time. However, it's a great project and definitely worth your time. Now, that said, personally, I only use the view model part of this project because I don't like editing the things that other people see. But when it's a view model, I'm the only person that sees it. So I'm only going to use that. However, 
it's great and you should really go check it out. So with all this said, there's still a lot of really cool mods out there for you to go check out. And Game Banana is a pretty great source for it. It's a great source for really bad mods too, but it's, it, you know, it's a mixed bag of jelly beans. You're going to get some bad ones, you're going to get some good ones. So go figure out what you like and just remember to never get a Fem Pyro mod. Thank you and good night.